Hi everyone, in this video we're going to have a look at the top four web browser IDs um, and how you can use them to code directly from your browser. Let's get into it. Okay, so thank you very much for uh, joining in. This is the Coding Hub and uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoy our content and you want to see more relate, um, coding related topics uh, on our channel. So the first ID that we would um, like to show you is uh, Visual Studio um, Code Online. So this is essentially Visual Studio Code, but in your browser. So if you just type in vscode.dev, you'll be able to edit um, directly from your uh, browser. Uh, and this is great. As you can see here, this is the latest version of Visual Studio Code and it's directly in your browser. Um, I've just loaded this up. Um, the only negative with this is you don't have access to your local folders. So if you want to edit anything, you will have to be editing from stuff like repositories and things like that. Um, and uh, you can actually edit stuff from your from your local folders, but it doesn't retain itself there. So you just have to make sure that those files are always on your system. Now, the second one that we, I would like to show you is Code Anywhere, uh, which is a developer uh, cloud ID. And this is a very complete solution. It's got um, lots of different features. One of the coolest, um, as well as uh, a code editor, which is very similar looking to the Visual Studio Code one, it's got uh, this thing called containers, which basically um, uh, you can you can set them up uh, as a development environment and they will run what you have set up on there. So there's some that are pre-set up for you from Code Anywhere, but you can set up your own ones for, for future development environments. But for example, something like WordPress or uh, ASP.NET Core um, and stuff like that are already set up for you as a base uh, container that you can just start straight away. Um, coding and you can share these and collaborate uh, a bit like Google Docs uh, online um, so it's great for um, development teams. Uh, it, it does unfortunately cost money um, so there is a monthly fee for this um, but if um, but it is a very complete solution and it's um, very good. Your next option is something uh, called Google shell, uh, Google Cloud shell, sorry. Uh, so this is part of Google Cloud. So within Google Cloud, if you have a Google Cloud account, which is similar to AWS or Azure, you will actually have access directly from there to a code editor. Uh, and inside this code editor, which is um, essentially a copy of Visual Studio Code, you can edit any code um, that's in your Cloud shell, or you can directly, um, you can directly um, clone repositories from your Google repositories um, themselves and edit stuff from here and directly commit them back into the Google Cloud repository, uh, which is great. And you can see here some, uh, some of the code tutorials I've done on, on my channel, uh, I've actually done in here. Um, so I personally use Google Cloud Shell uh, and it's completely free as well. And then the last one is uh, GitHub Code Spaces. So GitHub Code Spaces is a, um, a very similar solution to Code Anywhere where you can um, essentially pay for a very powerful machine if you want to, but also not that powerful machine, but you can get some extremely powerful machines um, and um, you can use it as a development environment. Um, and this is um, actually uh, great for distributed development teams um, because um, your company can straight away have an environment ready and set up for you that you can access from any machine, you know, whether it's a Chromebook, a tablet, or even your phone, you can, um, you can directly code from there. And it's the exact same setup as uh, everyone else in the company. Um, so it's, it's really good for companies. Um, and as you can see here, it's a paid solution. So you can see pay something like uh, 18 cents uh, an hour for a two core with a four gigabyte RAM machine, uh, which isn't too bad. And then you, know, you pay um, less than a penny, uh, sorry, less than, less than 10p uh, a month for storage um, per gigabyte. Uh, so unless you've got a really big repository, you, you won't be paying that much for storage. 
Um, but yeah, it's essentially, again, Visual Studio Code um, in your browser, but it has uh, that kind of um, local storage capability so that you can, you, you don't have to have the files on your machine uh, and they are securely backed up in the cloud. So these are the four uh, top uh, cloud IDs, uh, in my opinion. If I've missed anything, please let me know down below in the comments. Um, there's also links to all of these in um, the description. Please check it out and please subscribe to our channel. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye -bye.